everyone. Thank you so much for logging into this introduction video. My name is Stephanie Palmer. I'm a math teacher at Gaimea, and I am one of the year advisors for year seven this year. And this lovely lady that you can see on the screen, that is Sarah Forsyth. She is an English teacher at Gaimea, and she is the other year advisor. Um, so just a note, if you do want to take a look at this video in the future or refer back to it, it will stay up on the Edmodo site, so you can do so whenever you like. As year advisors, we support students with their personal well being. We're an important initial contact for students should they need any support, from reading their timetable and being organized to peer relationships and mental health. We're there to listen to our students and provide support or suggest where they can seek further advice. We generate progress reports. Now, this isn't something that every student will need, but it can help us and learning support consider how to identify and cater for social and learning needs. Sometimes we will generate these based on questions or advice from your child's teachers, and sometimes we'll generate one through conversations with you about your child's individual progress to gather more pointed information on how they're traveling. We collaborate with relevant deputy principals. This needs to happen as a year advisor is more concerned with well being and wellness, whereas the deputy is primarily concerned with academic support and student behavior. However, there is some obvious overlap between the two, so the DP and year advisors are in frequent, consistent contact. The deputy for this cohort is Victoria Kukataras. We organize and run year meetings and events depending on the identified needs of the cohort as well. Year meetings are a way to bring the year together, to recognize and celebrate milestones and achievements, as well as to target particular identified needs of each individual year group, which we usually determine through student voice well-being and academic student data, or some kind of survey. They can be about a variety of important themes, such as managing stress, making positive choices, forming relationships, high expectations, etc. It also gives us a chance to distribute Year Advisor awards from our merit system, which is described on our school website. Year Advisors also organize camps, cohort excursions, incursions, and other activities such as formal and fundraising. Now those are more applicable to the senior school, but they're worth a mention here as well. Um, these are generally focused on building positive connections and relationships within the year group. We also communicate wellbeing concerns of the parents to the staff. It is important that all relevant staff understand any major wellbeing concerns of particular students or of the entire cohort. These are communicated delicately and confidentially and who these are communicated to depend on the specific concern. If you have any social or well-being related concerns for your child, Steph and I are the primary teachers you can touch base with to talk through how we can best support your child and their peers. From there, we will discuss who um, the most important staff are to inform and we will also inform Ms. Kukataris of any important information too. You are also welcome to contact Ms. Kukataris with any questions you have. We will also guide students through their journey at GTHS. At GTHS, we like to keep at least one year advisor for a cohort's entire school career. We will be the year advisors for 2022. It is important as we form a very special and fundamental rapport with the students on a group and individual basis, which is crucial, particularly in senior school. It ensures they have the familiar face they can turn to and build confidence in throughout their high school journey. Lastly, we, build, we are a point of contact for students and caregivers. As previously mentioned, students are always encouraged to seek advice from their year advisor, as it is our core business to support them in a variety of ways. We also are in contact with parents regarding any well-being concerns, some learning support, and any attendance concerns or questions you may have. It's important to us at Gaimea that we follow departmental policy and procedure regarding learning support. And at our school, we work with the learning support team to support students with identified and diagnosed learning needs. Of course, learning support is not always relevant to every student as it generally involves a diagnosis of particular learning difficulties such as ADHD, ASD, or ODD. But parents do need to know that this is there for their child if it's required. We have a dedicated learning support team that provides extra support to students with identified needs. This could be creating and adjusting individualized learning plans or one-on-one -on -one support on a case-by-case -case basis. This is why it's important that we have any relevant information from a student's former primary school, 
as well as any appropriate documentation from a GP or pediatrician on the student's individual needs. These can also be discussed more formally at our family interview, which we traditionally run late in term four. At Gaimea, we do have an academically streamed class, which is called the GY class, in order to provide enrichment and extension opportunities to our gifted and talented students, as well as mixed ability classes. So those are the MEA classes to support all students with a range of abilities in a collaborative manner and learning support caters to any identified students from all of these classes. Supporting student wellbeing. On this slide, we have included an infographic to demonstrate the key stakeholders at school who are directly involved with and invested in student wellbeing. All these staff members and senior executives are not only in regular contact with students and parents, but are in frequent contact with each other so that we can synthesize whole school strategies to support all of our students. Classroom teachers are also a key part of supporting a student's wellbeing. And although not displayed on this infographic, they will often liaise with either the year advisor or the deputy, along with each other about wellbeing concerns they become aware of for your child, particularly those social or emotional issues that can arise as students settle into high school. These are all normal parts of transition as our students meet their new peers, classmates, and form new friendships as part of their high school journey. Peer Leading Program 2021 to 2022. Our Peer Leading Program, which is a big part of our Head Start to High School initiative, has been a tailored successful transition program that has been running since 2015. Small groups of eight to 10 year six students will have their own leaders of two to three year nine students who are year 10 in 2022. Year 9 peer leaders will set small tasks online through our Gaimea Connect program, which you would have already received an email about. These tasks are designed by us to promote belonging and connectedness with our school and include getting to know your group, how to read your timetable, and a virtual tour of our grounds. The peer leading program aims to provide our new student support from friendly and approachable student leaders, as well as foster connections between stage 4 and stage 5, that can continue as your child enters Gaimea next year. Gaimea Connect has been very important as a year advisor as it allows us to connect and communicate with our students before they have begun school at Gaimea. Not only this, but we are able to post important reminders about upcoming school events and important information. And this helps to familiarize our new students with the process, which will continue through our online learning platforms of Moodle, Google Classroom, and the student feed as they begin their learning journey in year seven. It also provides a platform for students to be able to reach out to us as their year advisors at any time, anywhere, and we often see this utilized towards the end of term four as our new students often have a lot of questions about starting high school next year. Using Gaimea Connect. Gaimea Connect, which is the use of Edmodo and Essential Assessment, aims to facilitate learning in an authentic online context. Our purpose through this part of the Head Start program is to build community before starting at our school. Through the use of digital citizenship, literacy and numeracy activities, as well as a series of 360 degree virtual lessons that our Year 9 digital media team designed and built, we aim to reinforce our school values of being a safe and respectful member of Gaimea Technology High School. Year 6 students will be set weekly tasks to immerse them in the experience of being part of our school, participating in active digital citizenship as well as literacy and numeracy activities. You can reach either Year Advisor for Year 7 2022 by contacting 9521-3244 or emailing us on the email attached here. Alternatively, you can send us a private message using Edmodo, which you can see how to do in the screen grab below. We appreciate you taking the time to view our presentation and know that we are here for our students as their journey to high school has officially begun. We look forward to meeting you and your children in the near future. Thank you and please don't hesitate to get in touch.